So I talked about doing an ice retention video on this new one gallon Topia uh, thermos that I picked up off of Amazon. So I'm going to show you with the camera. I'll tell you, that thing holds a lot of ice. So, uh, so for one thing, you know, when you use this thing, now granted I don't have any liquid or anything in here. I filled it up exactly to the line. In fact, I might have to take this piece out. Um, I filled it up exactly to the line where I'm hoping I'm going to take this out because I want to make sure I can get the lid on it. Um, there's no liquid in it. It's been in a air conditioned house at approximately probably 75 degrees. The ice is in it. I'm putting the lid on it nice and tight and I'm putting the cup lid on top of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sit this in my garage. So. It's not going to be out of the heat, it's not going to be in the sun, but it's going to be in a garage that's probably a good, you know, 90, 80 degrees, 85 degrees, uh, at the very minimum. Um, you know, it's summertime, so it's going to be pretty warm out there, and it might even be warmer than that. And I'm going to check it basically every 24 hours, and we're going to take a look and see how much of the ice is melted, and get an idea of, if nothing else, after a couple of days, if you're not opening and closing it all the time, how long can you expect this thing to hold ice before it melts? But again, it's full to the brim of ice, good and heavy. Uh, I'm gonna go put it in the garage and then we'll do a follow up here in about 24 hours or 48 hours, take a look at it and see, see how it's doing with holding ice. Okay, so it's been 48 hours. I just took the thermos out of the garage and I apologize, I don't know the temperature in the garage, but I would say it's easily over 90 degrees in that garage. Uh, we're gonna take a look 48 hours later, see if we have any ice left, and if so, how much. So I'm not sure if you can see in the thermos, but there's quite a bit. I'm gonna pour out some of the water here. Okay, in 48 hours, that's how much water or how much ice is melted, if you can see in that, in that cup. I mean, I've got a total block of ice here, and that's pretty impressive. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the lid back on it. Again, take a look, I just wanna make sure you can see in there. This is 48 hours later, I'm gonna put the lid back on it, I'm gonna give it another couple days and we'll check it again. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with the insulation on this. That's how much water I got out of that thermos in 48 hours, that's how much ice melted. So I'm gonna close it back up, put it in the garage, and again, the garage is open during some of the day, it's closed during most of the day, but it's the temperatures outside are about 95 degrees with you know the humidity and everything else factored in, it's usually over a hundred. So, you know, use your judgment on how hot you think the garage is, but it's it's hot out there. So lids back on, making sure everything's tight here before we start it up again. Everything's on tight. I'm going to put it back in the garage and we'll check back at it another 48 hours later. We'll see what it looks like after four days. Now I'm going to check the thermos. It's been over four days now. It's been about four and a half days. Keep in mind the first time we checked this it was after two days. There wasn't even enough water that came out of here to fill the bottom of this container. So we'll take a look and see how much we have now. Quite a bit more water, but you can tell also the ice is broken up a little bit. I can tell you, let's get all of it out here first. You can take a look in there and see that's how much water has melted in the past two days. So after four and a half days, if you want to look inside the thermos, there's still a ton of ice left. I would say there's easily still more than half of the ice. Um, left in this thermos. So I don't know how long I'm going to continue this test. I think the point's kind of been made that if you put ice in here and you keep it in the shade, even if it's hot, you're looking at this thing holding ice, I would say easily for eight days or maybe even longer. Now again, there was never any liquid in here, so that's going to you know affect things somewhat, but there's definitely no question this thermos is really well made and very well insulated. And if you're in a situation where you need ice for a long time, it's not going to be a problem with this item. So I hope this uh, video helps you out. What I might do is I'll just, uh, you know, again, put all this stuff together. And then if you have any other questions about the thermos that maybe I didn't answer, just feel free to, you know, like the video, ask questions, and I'll do my best to help answer them in the future. Thanks. So it's now been seven days. I put the ice in here 
uh, last Friday, and seven days later we're going to see how much of the ice is melted. And this will conclude the ice retention test for this Topia one gallon thermos. Get all the water out of it. So, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but after seven days, there's still plenty of ice in here. If, if I put my hand to it, it's actually about, the ice is still to about right here. So it's melted a little bit over half, maybe you could say, you know, three quarters, but there's still plenty of ice in there to keep this liquid cold. So, uh, just to conclude the ice retention test on this, easily you get seven days worth of ice out of it if you put enough ice in there. Uh, and this was again being stored in a hot garage the whole time. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And again, if you have any questions, just feel free to comment at the bottom of the video. If the video helped out, I'd appreciate it if you'd like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks.